Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a fill-in as well as some repairs. So of course the first thing that I'm doing is just going in with a pair of nippers and removing the bling. And then after that we're going to go in with a extra coarse drill bit to remove the colored acrylic and just file them down as much as we can because I'm going to be applying more colored acrylic. And I don't want the nails to be super thick, so I want to just file them down as much as I can. Alrighty, and then also for nails like this one, I am going to have a few that I guess the acrylic underneath was way too thin. So once I filed away all of the colored acrylic, it was literally just the tip. So I went ahead and took those off or I'm going to take those off and just replace them with a new nail tip because I don't want them to break off really easily. Um, but again, this is, the, uh, this is the safety extra coarse drill bed we're just following the acrylic as much as we can um and as you guys know this is why i do the layer of the mia seeker pink underneath whenever i'm doing the colored acrylic that way i can just file it off really easily and then we'll still have acrylic underneath but again like the middle finger i guess i didn't have enough so once i filed it down it was like i kind of filed on some of the nail tip um that's why i went ahead and just took it off All 
Alrighty, so after I finish removing the acrylic or filing it down, I'm going in with a cuticle pusher and just pushing back those cuticles. And this is going to help with exposing the new growth and help with reducing lifting. So we just want to do this on all of the nails. And then after this, we're going to go in with a 180 setting band to remove the shine from the natural nail. Remember that our body produces a lot of oils. Those oils happen to be on our natural nails. So if we don't go in to remove the shine, we will get lifting. So you want to always make sure that you do not skip this step because if not your nails are going to come off literally within a few hours of you doing your nails. So make sure that again you use a 180 sending band. I'm using my Melody Susie Scarlet Nail Drill. I do have a promo code for them so I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description. And then as always make sure that you get as close as you can to that cuticle area because that's where the acrylic usually lives from is the cuticle area so any water any type of moisture that gets trapped underneath the nail will cause that nail to come right up um so we're gonna go ahead and finish doing this after this we're gonna dust the nails off and then we're gonna replace the nails that are gone Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in and apply the nail tips. So I'm using my clear nail tips. As always, remember that when you're applying nail tips, you want them to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall. You don't want them to be too big or too small. Literally fit from sidewall to sidewall. And then after this, we're going to, of course, shape up the nails because I'm going to leave them this long because that's how the rest of the nails are. So um, also remember that the nail tips come from a number... 10 or 9 to a number 0 9 and 10 being your biggest nail tip and number 0 being or sorry the smallest nail tip 9 and 10 the smallest nail tip and number 0 your biggest nail tip so uh, after doing nails for so long I can kind of just guesstimate what number the nail is going to be and I just slice it still and then apply the glue and place it on the nail um, but at first you are going to have to just go in and size the nail till of, of course you know to make sure that it fits but now I'm just going in with my straight edge nail clipper and just trimming down the sides of the nails. That way I don't have to do so much filing. This is going to save me some of that time. So I'm already cutting that nail tip into a, uh, sorry, stiletto. Um, so I'll be saving time as I stated. But um, for reshaping the nails, I'm going to use a 100-100 nail file. And then as always, we're going to file right from the side of the nail, which is your nail groove towards the tip at a 90 degree angle and just following on both sides until you get the pointiness that you want um, if they want them a little bit more rounded then of course you can round them off at the tip but just fall on both sides about the same amount of times that way the nails are not crooked but remember fall right from the side of the nail at a 90 degree angle
Alrighty, so now I'm going in with the Young Nail Protein Bond and applying that on the natural nail. And then after this, we're going to go in with the acrylic. And I am going to be using some gold foil, so you will see me cut up the little gold pieces. Um, and you can just cut that with your fingertips. It's really, really thin. And you just cut it into like tiny, tiny pieces. And then for my acrylic, of course, I'm going to be using the Mia Secret Acrylic System in the color pink. And then I'm also going to use the purple by Nail Supply Glamour. And then the cover pink is going to be by um, Mia Secret, which you can find at Nail Supply Glamour as well. And it's going to be the Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush, which I really, really love. Um, so as you can see, the first thing that I did was I went in and just laid down the Mia Secret Pink first. And then I went in with the purple. And this is going to be kind of like a marble nail, I guess. And I just did a little bit of the purple. And then I'm going in with some glitter, which is the AB Glitter Acrylic by Nail Supply Glamour. And then I'm going to go in with the little gold uh, pieces in the middle. And then afterwards, we're going to encapsulate the nail. Remember that anytime I'm doing any sort of glitter, colored acrylic, um, whatever it is, I always encapsulate the nail. Of course, you can use the clear, but I just use the Mia Secret Pink because it's really, really translucent. So once you finish you know you're falling and everything and you apply the top coat you can barely even tell that it's a pink it looks more like clear so that's why i use it but again you can absolutely use a clear i'm not saying that you can't i'm just telling you what i like to use and of course i'm using my alpha brush in a number 10 i absolutely love their brushes that's all i ever use and they just work really really good for me um remember that when it comes down to your acrylic brush you do not want to go cheap trust me when i first started i was buying the nail brushes from sally's and it was to the point where i was literally having to buy a new brush because no matter like a new brush every week because no matter how good i clean my brush off it was still like messing up the acrylic would not come off and it was just horrible so then i started investing into better brushes and now i make sure that of course i clean my brush after each set uh, for 10 minutes i soak it into a little dapping dish with acetone um some people don't like using acetone but i make sure that i only soak it for 10 minutes and then i take it out and put it up um so i do recommend that you, well really not that i recommend but that's something that you have to do um but anyways for the ring finger as you guys know we did the mia secret pink as the base and then i'm going in with that same purple at the tip and then i'm gonna go in with the mia secret nude blush cover color at the back to create an ombre look and then once we have that color down we're gonna come back in with the mia secret pink to encapsulate it and when you're doing ombre remember that you want to make sure that you don't brush the color down too far down to the tip because you want to basically blend the two colors in the middle um so just add a little bit right in the middle brushing it right towards the middle not all the way down towards the tip like you usually would with regular acrylic and also the key to this is making sure that you work with a little bit of product at a time because if not it's going to create a big hot mess and you're going to brush the color all the way down so just work with a little bit at a time and just build of course your apex and your thickness as you go and then again once we have this down we're going to go in with the Mia Secret Pink to encapsulate this the reason why i always encapsulate is because um once you come back into file sometimes the color might look a little bit a little bit patchy if you file too much so i rather just encapsulate it and then you know next time when she comes back for a feel i can easily just file it down Alrighty, so next we're going to go in with the pinky and I just applied my first bead right in the middle, brushing it down towards the tip. Also remember that when you're applying your acrylic, you want to brush the acrylic down really, really gently because if not, you're going to brush the product off the nail. Also making sure that you clean around the cuticle area as soon as any product gets on the skin because if you leave it, it's going to dry up really easily and most likely you will get lifting because it's really hard to remove from the skin. Um, sometimes you can file it off but you don't want to have to do that extra work you are better off just cleaning it off right away um, than letting it dry up and when you clean around the cuticle area you go 
and with the very tip of your brush just all the way around the cuticle area and just cleaning it up and then of course i wipe my brush off before i go around the cuticle area so you want to make sure that you do that and also anytime you see me lift the finger up that's me looking at it from the side and i'm checking for a nice apex and a nice thickness at the tip um and of course if i still see that it's too thin around the tip or around the cuticle area i go in and add a little bit more um but for this index finger we applied the base which is the Mia Secret Pink and then I'm just doing the same marble that I did on the middle finger I'm gonna do the same thing on this one except for I'm only doing it on the tip and then I'm gonna come back in with the Mia Secret Nude Blush at the back to make it into an ombre so remember that when you're working with colored acrylics for me it's easier to just work with a little bit at a time you don't want to use too much because then the nails are gonna be super thick but now I'm going in with the nude blush. I'm uh, placing it closer to the back, brushing it down towards the middle, blending it right there. And then if I need to go back in, I'm going to apply a little bit more around the cuticle area. And then we're going to encapsulate this. And then for the thumb, we're going to do an ombre as well, just like we did on the ring finger but as you guys notice um i am having to apply a little bit more acrylic because of course some of these nails are fresh tips and then the other ones that i did not remove they were you know i followed them down a lot so i'm having to basically build the thickness and the apex you know from scratch again y'all so same thing for the other hand so again on the pinky i'm just gonna do the mia secret pink acrylic because i'm gonna bling this one out for the ring finger we're gonna do the purple and nude um ombre middle finger is gonna be marble the index finger is gonna be the marble at the tip with the nude at the back 
and then the thumb is gonna be a marble or sorry a ombre just like the ring finger so we're gonna go ahead and finish this off remember the key to applying acrylic is just making sure that you brush very very gently when you're applying the acrylic also once you place it down you pat it down as you see here and then brush it down and brush uh, really again gently that way the acrylic is nice and even because if not then it's going to be lumpy and also make sure that you look at your nail from different angles to make sure that you add acrylic where it's needed and cleaning around the cuticle area so make sure that you keep those things in mind when you're applying acrylic
ready so i'm finishing up the acrylic application and then after that we're gonna go in with the same 100 100 nail file and we're just going to reshape the nails um as you guys know after you apply the acrylic it kind of takes away from your shape and then you're left with little rough edges on the side so we just want to go in and perfect the shape um so same thing going in on the sides at a 90 degree angle going straight from the free or sorry from the nail groove towards the free edge and just doing that on all of the nails and of course look at your shape when you're doing this that way you know if you need to file a little bit more on one side than the other uh, but you only know once you actually sit there and look at the nail because it's going to be different for each one Alrighty, so after we finish uh, reshaping the nails, I'm going in with the extra fine drill bed and we're going to be filing all of the nails. Uh, so of course the first thing that I do is go around the cuticle area going from the right side all the way over to the left side. Just going back and forth as you see me do it's like I go back and forth, back and forth so many times until I'm able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is. That way I know that the acrylic is not on the skin and also just following the rest of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And usually my acrylic is always nice and smooth but I still go back and file it just to make sure. And then also when you're doing this make sure that just like when you're applying the acrylic that you look at the nail from different angles. That way you know if you need to file some little bumps and lumps here and there you can get rid of those. Um, but you'll only be able to see if you look at the nail from the sides and just from different angles because just looking at it from the top you're not able to see it um, and also you might want to feel on the nail with your finger with your thumb um, so you can feel some of those bumps and lumps as well um, but again make sure that you focus around the cuticle area first going around there to make sure that you seal the cuticle area because you don't want to get any lifting trust me when i first started i feel like i was doing all of this correctly i feel like i was going around that cuticle area like i should have but really i wasn't because i know for a fact that i was so scared to get around the cuticle area so i would kind of i mean i would kind of do it but not like i should have been doing it um so you want to make sure that you get you know as much practice as you can of course you know i use my drill at 10,000 rpm pms when i'm doing this but of course as a beginner you can use it at a slow lower speed and just work your way up you know in speed as you get more practice but the only way to get better with your drill is just by using it um so it is going to take a little bit you know to finally achieve not getting any lifting but it's all about patience practice and dedication like i always say um but anyways after we finish following the nails with the extra fine drill bed we're going to go in and buff the nails.
Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with the buffer and we're just going to buff the nails really, really good. And this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nail from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff really, really good. And also, I always go in with my, uh, my, with my thumb and fill on the top of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth. If not, I go in and buff a little bit more. And then as you can see, I also buff underneath the nail to make sure that if there's any little, you know, rough edges that I get rid of those as well after this we're gonna dust the nails off and then i'm gonna wipe them off with an alcohol wipe or of course you can have your client go wash their hands Alrighty, so now since we did all acrylic, the only thing that I'm going to do with polish is this color club uh, color and the color harp on it, which is the color that I use as a base for my bling. So I applied that on the two pinkies and then I'm going in with the Soleil Nail Adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and apply my bling. Um, this is how, how I always apply my bling. Again, I use the Soleil Nail Adhesive. I apply it on the nail and then I go in with my AB SS6 and SS12. I start around the cuticle area and just working my way around the perimeter of the nail until I fill in the entire nail. Um, and this is the same bling that I had on my website. It is currently down for restocking, but I'll be sure to let you guys know once it's back up and running. I usually post it on my Instagram, so be sure to go follow me on there so you guys are updated on the website and also so you guys can see all of my work because of course I don't post every single um you know video or every single set that I do I don't make a video for it so you can go in there and just check out all of my work but as you can see I go back in and just outline the perimeter of the nail with the same glue and then after that I'm gonna apply the uh, bling on the ring finger and the thumb i'm doing an ss12 in the middle with three ss6 on each side we're going to do that on both the ring finger and the thumb after this we're going to spray those with the mia secret gel resin activator and then after this we're going to apply the madam glam gel top coat which i do have a promo code so i'll be sure to leave that down below Alrighty, so going in with the madam glam gel top coat I'm going to go ahead and apply that on all of the nails and then we're going to cure each hand for 60 seconds um, or this hand for 60 seconds and then I'm going to do the, set, the exact same thing on the other hand so applying the bling on the pinky, the ring finger and the thumb and then applying the top coat and curing for 60 seconds.
Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really, really pretty. She's actually going to the Lakers game, so that was my inspiration. Um, so as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GetNail32, and I'll see you guys next time.